his head was like three of mine, size-wise, I mean. Big enough that I imagine he has trouble buying hats. Play-Doh soft, lines laughed deep in older skin, but those eyes, those child-wide mischief eyes. My own head is considerably smaller, like a coconut and an orange. Tan skin pulls youth thin over stronger than they feel features, but I reckon they'd hold the same amount of water. He told me, hands in my pockets, limbs belt than him beneath me, that his job was moving water. I imagine him, cupping it careful in those giant hands, moving slow, steady steps between two lake lungs, losing not one drip, no cheap trick, just Hair. He told me he was raised by strong women. I could tell by the way he kissed me. You can taste a man who knows the worth of woman. He smiled, that smile that folds me into him. Called me girlfriend nine hours after we met. I scoffed, pulled back, said I could be anyone. Could be evil, could hunt elephants for ivory. He said I couldn't pull the trigger. I told him I don't do commitment, monogamy, tradition. He said I couldn't pull the trigger. I'd become too used to the usual glint in eye, twitch in trouser. Instead, he breathed slow, lifted me gently from his lap, said, I want to see you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'll meet your mum on Sunday. <laughs> well, I laughed till I realised how long it had been since a man tried to make me laugh instead of make me wet. <laughs> Wondered why I hadn't realised that till now. I was still smiling when Monday came and left without a call. I guess he couldn't pull the trigger. Thank you.